I've been watching Nigerian movies and uh, I said, hey, I'm going to stay with this Nigerian Nigerian woman. Hi! Hi! So, how did I make it to America? Somebody asked me that. Coming to America, <laughs> they're just like anybody else. America is the land of opportunity and uh, for greener pastures. So, I came to America through green, green card. And that will bring up another question. What do I need to, to apply for green card? You will need your passport, your passport photo. Passport photo is different with the, from the ones we normally take. But when, when you go to the photo studio, ask them, ask them that you want the, you want the, the passport photo for green card. They know. The people at the studio, they know. So they will take a picture, they will take a picture of you with everything. You will not have your, if you are a girl, you will not need the earring. Your hair will be tucked behind and your ears, there's they, something they will put under you. They, my ears are back there. So they, they usually, they used to put something behind my ears because this green card we, we applied for seven years before before getting the green card before finally getting the green card we are picked to that we got the green card what else will you need you must have finished from from 4 or 12th grade so you need passport the passport photo and uh, and you must have finished from 4 those are the only things you need applying the uh, applying for green card is free unless you are going to someone's cyber to apply for you you will pay for the person but don't pay for for like you have a you got a website that you are going to pay money to apply for green card application of green card it is free you don't pay anything to apply for green card. Yes, you can apply in your house or at the cyber, wherever, wherever the internet is strong at. Or on your phone. You can do it on your phone. Yes. But yes, that's who that's who, that's all you need. After applying for the green card and now you so there is a number. There is a number they will tell you to keep that's the number they it's a long number with maybe 2021 2022 number that number you should keep it that's the number you will go back and plug in there to see if you are selected or uh, not selected because it's a lottery it's a lot if you're lucky enough you can get it if you're not lucky you will not get it but you keep trying we tried for seven years seven good years in fact my husband started trying before before we were even married <laughs> yeah so keep trying if if you want it <laughs> keep trying people people get tired because every time they apply they go they don't get it but there are some lucky people who will just apply like that and that year they get it but you need money you need money too. There's nothing for free. Nothing for free. What if I get the pregnant after applying for green card? Don't worry. That is after are you applied and then you end up getting it. That's happened to me. And I have my baby, the one the one I uh, the 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 baby I got after application and I got the I, I got for I got green card. I have my baby. I came with my baby. So, when you're married, put your your spouse. When you have children, put your spouse unless you got your children or you got married 
after you applied that is understandable because you will have to give you you will have to prove that you are married or you have children through their birth certificate or through your marriage certificate so the marriage certificate when you you will need it when you go to the embassy to prove that this is your husband or these are your children right so there are so many instructions so you have to read everything things have changed things have changed so much since since my, since we did the application and now we are here yeah things have changed what is the process after 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 getting the green card the process they will send you an email to tell you where you're going to do your medical and when you applied for the green card did you put your family like for me husband applied for me and he applied for for himself so the chances are high when you apply the two of you when you are a couple and you apply the two apply the two apply the two of you when you apply you have to put your husband and your kids because you can't leave your you leave your family back there and the chances are high when you get it everybody comes because you put everybody in there when you are applying when your husband gets it, you all come with your kids. So when he applied, he applied for mine and uh, he applied for his. And uh, mine came back. <laughs> Funny enough, mine came back. And you know, the, as the drill said, we both come. We have to come, all of us. So the process starts. You have to go do your medical for the kids i have three boys but that's the story for another day the kids they will be tested the the, the chicken box chicken pox my husband took the took the the job for the chicken pox if you if you had not been attacked by chicken pox you have to take the chicken pox jab but I did not take the chicken box just because I had been attacked by chicken box before. My kids were given the chicken box jab and they did the, what do you call this? The TB test on the skin. They tested them for the TB on the, on the skin. So the test take place like today and then the following day you go again. But all this, it's not free. You pay for the test and uh, for the test for everybody, each and everybody. So it's money. I don't know how much it cost, but it was a lot of money. I can't remember now. It's been eight years. After that, but before you go to this, there's a place that you, it, you will be asked to bring your, your Form 4, if you're in Kenya, your Form 4 certificate. Or your 12th grade certificate uh, however you you call it 12th grade is the the last grade after before you go to college in Kenya that's the form 4 certificate what's next after medical the next thing after medical let me take a bath I will come back the next step after medical is the embassy you're supposed to go to the embassy and you have the date of the embassy that's why you are supposed to have gone to the medical uh, to bring your certificate and you have all your passports that's you have your birth certificate and your children has gone through the medical and you also gone to the medic medical and you have the fee for for the embassy yes there's a fee for the embassy I don't know if we paid the fee for the visa, but it's the fee for, for the interview. So when you go to the in interview, you have to bring everybody. You bring your husband your ch and your three children. If you have three or one or none, if you're by yourself, go by yourself, but bring everything you have. 
your ID. Oh, there's something I left out. And those ones, they were sent before. The, the certificate of good conduct from the police. Yes, from the government. I don't know if it's the police or the government, but yes, from the government. So those ones, and even the certificate, I didn't touch this, this the school certificate, they are not supposed to give you in your hand. They're supposed to send it to the embassy. So I know there are corruptions in Kenya or any other African country. Just to take this certificate out of the place of the education center can be, <laughs> can be hard. <laughs> so give them what they need. Let your certificate go to this embassy. You are not supposed to take them by take it by yourself. You're supposed to find everything there at the at the embassy. But at the medical, they told us I didn't I did not explain some place some some places well like the medical. There's a place we were taken and you were taught. They tell you what you expect at the embassy actually. So we were told. Um, Unless you are Osama bin Laden, that's when you're not you will not get the 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 visa. But if you're just a regular person, your conduct is good and your behaviors are good, you're good to go. We did not even stay for but just for the waiting, but for the questioning, it didn't even take five minutes. That lady told us, oh, I've checked your things and I want to get you out of here very fast. So, very fast did we get this thing? Oh, how many boys do you have? I said, three. The one I was carrying, my baby was crying. And then my husband presented the two that you were, we had. And then, oh, maybe you have the opportunity to get, go and get a girl in, in America. And I was like, hey, did we get this thing? Is this thing the true? Yes. So, and then that, that's when you leave, you will leave your things there. You will leave your passport and then you will, they will ask you, how do you want to receive your passport? With your visa. So there's a, how the address, you know, Kenya, there's no addresses. So we did it with the, with the G4S. So they send it to the G4S with our, our, our numbers and then my husband went, went and picked it. And then we looked for the ticket. We looked for the ticket and then we came to America. And that's it. And I know some curious person will, will ask that when you get to America, are they giving you accommodation? Are they giving you money already? No. On the application, on the day you are applying for the for the green card, there's a place. They will ask for your uh, the address. Where are you going to stay? They are not giving you any money. You need to have somebody to accommodate you when you arrive. Somebody to pick you from the airport. But nowadays I see some people, they get a house when they are still in Kenya. When you have money, when you have money, you get accommodation. There are Airbnbs, there are um, hotels, but when you get to the airport, the <laughs> the border the border border security will ask you, where are you going? <laughs> you have to you you have to have an address of where you're going or the number, because <laughs> we don't have any number that they can call when when they when they need us. So they have to, and even the address where they will send your green card, because they have to process them. It takes like uh, a month or so, I don't know. But you need an address. You are not given any money. You've come to America. So the work begins. It's not easy. But endurance. <laughs> You're not given any money. We are lucky that we got a good family friend who, who was in America, who accommodated us. Uh, they accommodated us for one year. We did not pay anything. My husband got a job within, within three months, but he almost went back home. He almost went to, back to, Afri to, to Africa. 
because he thought like oh i left my nice job and now i don't have a penny but this these people told us the family we stayed with you're staying here you can stay as long as you like because they had they have a big house but you know a man with your wife and your kids you don't just want to stay in someone's house let me not say in someone's house but they are like family they are nice people when i heard that she's married he's married to um to a nigerian when i you know i've been watching nigerian movies and i said hey i'm going to stay with this nigerian nigerian woman hi i was freaking out but this lady turned out to be the best and now we are best of friends let no let the movies not lie to you nigerians are the best people i've never met but um <laughs> yes this lady is she's she's good <laughs> she was so good to my children that's a story for another day if you want me to tell you a sto that the story of this nigerian woman let me know bye